Boeing has five models in its outdoor home security camera range and I've been looking at the floodlight cam, the biggest and beefiest of the lot. So across Ring's range, the central camera module uh, looks pretty much identical on all of uh, Ring's uh, devices. The big difference comes in how they're powered and the illumination that they provide at nighttime. Uh, here on the floodlight camera, it connects up to your house wiring. It has to be connected to your wall. And the illumination comes with these two large floodlights. Now, the other cameras in the range, the spotlight cameras, just have uh, little LED lights down the side of the camera box. Uh, that means that this provides a lot more illumination in nighttime. It looks a lot like a traditional home security light system, and that's probably not a coincidence because that's exactly what it's intended to replace. If you've got one at the moment, just take it off the wall. This one will mount straight into the same junction box. If not, you're gonna need a junction box on your wall or in your wall, and you're gonna to have to run power to it. That's because there's no battery option with this light. But assuming everything's set up on the wall, installation was pretty easy. Uh, you'll also need a good Wi-Fi signal where you're putting it in because there is no ethernet socket on this light, but most homes have a pretty decent Wi-Fi connection around their edge. So when we got it going, what was it like? Similar to Ring's other products, we got a great picture during daylight. Nice, colorful, sharp images. And at nighttime, there's a couple of small infrared LEDs at the top of the camera, and they provide illumination for a night vision mode. You don't see quite as much with the night vision, but it gives you a chance to see what's going on outside your house when it's dark. Now, if motion is detected, that's where those two big LED floodlights come in. They switch on and they illuminate the area with 1800 lumens of light. That's about four to five times more light than Ring's spotlight cameras, which are the other cameras in its series. There is no dimming control on the system, which is fine for a security light, but if you're hoping it'll do double duty, say to illuminate an outdoor entertaining area, then you're probably gonna to have to come up with something else. The infrared sensor on the bottom has a detection range of 270 degrees. That's a very wide range. Uh, when anything happens in that range and it's detected, those lights will come on but the camera on it only has a range of 140 degrees. So if stuff's going on at the edges, the lights will come on and that might be enough to scare anyone away if they're lurking in the bushes around your house, but you're not necessarily gonna see them unless they come into that central area. And when the lights do come on, the camera stays in night vision mode. Uh, you don't get a color image of what's going on in front of it. Uh, to cut down on false positives, you have motion detection zones. You can draw these on the app and keep detection to just the areas that you've defined. That's useful if you've got something moving out in your garden that's always triggering the camera. In terms of range, we measured it to at least 12 meters, about 40 feet uh, from the camera system. And sometimes it was detecting things a little bit further too. So you've got a decent detection range around your house. If someone does come into that range and you see them, there's a two-way talk feature uh, in the app. You can press a button and you can say something, it comes out of the camera, and you can listen to what they're saying too. And if that doesn't scare someone away, there's also a 110 decibel alarm on the unit as well. The camera costs $250, but that is not the end of your spending. Oh no. A lot of these home security systems these days try to lock you into a contract for storage of things. Ring is no different. If you want to review any recorded video, you're gonna to have to pay $3 a month or $30 a year per camera. Uh, there's a slight discount if you have a lot of these cameras, $10 a month or $100 a year for an unlimited number, which is basically then if you have four or more, it's cheaper to do it that way. Uh, but if you just have this one, then uh, using it over five years, the camera and the subscription, you're talking about a total investment of $450. You don't have to have the subscription. But if you don't have the subscription, it's not gonna record anything and you're not gonna be able to go and review things. The lights will still come on, triggered on motion. You'll still be able to watch live, but that's it. So consider that when you're looking at prices. TechHive rated the camera three and a half out of five. We think it's a great addition if you already have a Ring home security system. It integrates straight into the app and you can see it alongside other Ring outdoor security cameras and the Ring video doorbell. Uh, if you don't have ring systems at the moment, then there are some other cameras that are worth considering. The Maximus floodlight cam has a couple of large LED panels, similar to this one, uh, but gives you a color image at nighttime. And the Natatmo Presence has a big LED light panel and records images onto an internal SD card. There are no cloud subscription costs with that. You can find reviews for those. You can find reviews for this on techhive.com.